Illustrated is now represented by Wyant, Wheeler, Hellman, Tetlow, and Brown. And more specifically, Andrew Beckett. Yes! Bravo! <laughs> I sincerely appreciate your faith in my abilities. Mr. Beckett! <laughs> How are you? What happened to your face? I have AIDS. Oh. I'm seeking representation. You want to sue Wyant, Wheeler, Hellerman, Tetlow, and Brown? I was diagnosed with AIDS eight months ago during a bout with pneumonia. What was that in your forehead, pal? I envy everyone in this room is your friend. I misplaced an important complaint. That's their story. We've been talking it over. Your future, that is. And we feel that because we respect you so much, we must be honest with you. Excuse me. Am I being fired? We Hi, welcome to Everyone's Critic. This is Spencer Fawcett. I'm going to be talking about Philadelphia. Philadelphia is a story of a gay attorney played by Tom Hanks who is fired when his employers find out that he's gay and he has AIDS and with the help of a homophobic lawyer played by Denzel Washington, he attempts to sue uh, the law firm he works for for wrongful termination and it's very good and very important so let's take a look. Would you accept a client if you were constantly thinking, I don't want this person to touch me. I have a case. I don't want them to even breathe on me. You don't want it for personal reasons. Thank you. That's correct. I don't. That's very disappointing. Sir, wouldn't you be more comfortable in a research room? No. Would it make you more comfortable? Back in, how you doing? Counselor. Did you find a lawyer? There's going to be things said at the trial that are going to be hard for you to hear. I want to know everything about his personal life. What deviant groups did he secretly belong to? I didn't raise my kids to sit in the back of the bus. Is Andrew Beckett the kind of lawyer who misplaces crucial documents? An excellent lawyer. Andrew Beckett is dying. You were impressed with Andrew Beckett's work. Andrew Beckett, yes, angry. What powerful force has caused him to change his mind? And he wants someone to pay. TriStar Pictures presents... The law's been broken. I just want what is fair, what is right. You remember the law, don't you? A Jonathan Demme picture. So let's talk about what this case is really all about. Did you fire Andrew Beckett because he had AIDS? The general public's hatred, our loathing, our fear. In this courtroom, Mr. Miller, justice is blind to matters of sexual orientation. We don't live in this courtroom, no, do we? Tom Hanks. I love the law. Denzel Washington. Are you gay? Objection! In a story about our lives. Oh, Mom, today's a good day. Our fears. Andy brought AIDS into our offices. And our humanity. I hate this case. Philadelphia. Yeah, this movie's really, really good. It's one that I think should be seen by all. It has an important message. Uh... It's very relevant and has some relevant themes. Uh, it's very good in terms of justice for people who are homosexual, people with AIDS. Uh, it's a very good movie on discrimination that doesn't get talked about a lot uh, because I feel in general that discrimination against gays isn't really something that's touched on in film that much. Um, when it comes to discrimination, it's usually movies about uh, racism or sexism or things like that. You don't get too much about homophobia. Um, so this is a really good one. Uh, it It's sort of... It, it's like one of the first movies that really touched on AIDS. Uh, not many movies do it. Uh, there aren't many movies about AIDS. Like The only other one that comes to mind is uh, Dallas Buyers Club. And I think this is much better than Dallas Buyers Club. Uh, I love this movie. Um, I th I recommend it to everyone. Um, it's not perfect. Uh, it's got its problems. It's a 90s movie, so it's not really as... I don't know the word for it, but it's not really as aware as it would be if it were made today. Um... But other than that, like, the acting's strong. Tom Hanks in a great role. He uh, won an Oscar for this movie. I said in my review for Forrest Gump that I didn't think he deserved his Oscar for, for Forrest Gump. Uh, 
but I think he deser he more than deserved his Oscar for this movie. Uh, Denzel Washington, who was fantastic in this movie, he also deserved an Oscar, but wasn't nominated. Uh, screenplay is pretty good. It's got its problems. It's got its cliches. Uh, it's got its cringy moments in it, uh, but like I said, it's a 90s movie. A lot of 90s movies were filled with those, so that's that. Uh, the story's good, very important story, a story that needs to be told. Uh, powerful, very, very powerful. Um, great direction from Jonathan Demme, who also did Silence of the Lambs, that I'll, I'll be uh, reviewing later. Um, entertaining and rewatchable. Yes and no. Uh, it, this movie can get boring. It is a little over two hours, so the runtime might be an issue for some people. It's It doesn't always keep you hooked. The courtroom scenes are very good, but it's not all courtroom scenes. There's some outside scenes that kind of go on for some time, and that gets a little lengthy and a little slow. This movie is slow. It kind of drags on a little bit, so it's not the most entertaining, and it's not the most rewatchable. But other than that, it's a very, very good movie. Very important. A story that needs to be told. I recommend it. I give it an 8.3. You should definitely see it if you can. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for my next video. Thank you.